Hi, well today's theme is space. Another one of those boy themes. I guess it is a bit of a unisex theme. Um, but yes, in my bid to be producing more boy related uh, party food, I have decided to do space today. This is what I've come up with. Oh, I don't want them to fall off. Okay, I'll show them properly um, as I'm doing them. But yeah, look, I've got a couple of monsters. Uh, I've got uh, an astronaut, the solar system, a couple of planets, and a rocket ship. So these are cupcake toppers, but these can easily be cookies because, look, I've made them as circles. You just make circle cookies. You could actually make circle cookies and put in... Uh, a stick so that they can be cookie wands and these you just would lift them and stick them straight onto your cookies really simple and look the other reason um, that I've made these is they um, you can use these ideas to put around a cake so it's, it doesn't just mean that these are, are, are to do with cake uh, the cookies or cupcakes you can be using this to make like, 2d images around a cake make a circle cake two tiers and put all the different images around so um, th this is why I just wanted to show you this way because it can be translated to, to any party food that you use for a space theme. Anyway, look, they were really easy to make. I made all of them in the two and a bit hours that I had um, while Molly was at kinder today. So, yeah, they, they really don't take that long. They're really fun to make. Okay, uh, I just want to talk about how to get a navy blue colour. I'm going to use a, a, like a midnight blue to do the base for all these space toppers. I have here a uh, Americolor navy blue, so this is what I'm going to use. But look, I buy all my fondant white, that's how it comes. Um, and if I was going to colour, you know, if you, if you had to colour a massive amount of fondant navy blue, it would take so much colouring. Um, so the trick to getting navy blue is to take your white fondant, Take your pre-mixed black fondant. This is the plastic ice, plastic icing cake, cake art brand. And what you want to do is you want to do half black, half white, and you'll get you know your grey colour. And then you need to um, add in your navy blue, and that's the easiest way to get navy blue. Okay, so that's um, that's my grey colour. She doesn't look. Yeah. That's so that's what it's like when I've mixed in my um, black and white together. So I'm going to give a bit of a, a decent sort of decent amount and um, mix it. Okay, so that's my navy blue. I did actually end up adding a bit more colour into it. Um, and I'm just going to add in my Tylo powder and then I'm just going to let it sit for a while. When you add, when you add so much food colouring in, it changes the consistency of it because obviously it's getting all the wetness from the um, colouring. So I'm going to add some Tylo, about a quarter to a half a teaspoon of Tylo powder. Or if you're using gum paste, you don't need to do it. Um, and then I'm just going to let it sit for a while before rolling it out. I'm actually rolling out, I've rolled out my fondant and I'm just going to cut it actually straight onto baking paper so that I can use my mat for something else. So it can just dry on the baking paper. So I'm just going to cut out. Uh, six okay so here I've got my um, base bases so I'm just going to put these to the side um, and let them harden while I start making the bits to go on top okay so I'm getting some green first cupcake uh, I'm gonna make is um, a monster and I'm just using this little leftover bit from the Lego cupcake so this is leaf green always good to um, use your leftover bits and pieces so I'll just roll that out and then I've selected one of my circle cutters um, to use for the face, measured it up, this is the one that I've used for the cupcake base, measured it up and thought yep that looks about right. Just tidying up the edges. Then I'll bring it over my just got some water. That smack bang in the middle. Okay. Keep the a little bit. We're just. I'm just going to put some little ears on the side of this monster, 
So I'll roll this out again. And then find a little cutter. Now this green has already got Tylo powder mixed in it from when I did it for the um, for when I did the Lego ones. Okay, so that's that. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to make a a smile. So what I need is I need to use one of my circle cutters. And you sort of need to measure up and, and work out. This can be quite, and you just need to roll. Roll it like that. And then I'm going to get my little balling tool just to make it a bit more comical. If you put a little sort of bump at the end of a little circle at the end of that, it just sort of makes, yeah, a bit more of a comical face. Okay, I'm going to roll out some white to put the one eye there Open. yep Sometimes the shape can sort of go a bit. I'm just going to tidy that up a bit. Okay, I'm going to grab a little bit of black. Grabbed a bit of black. You've got to be so careful. Look at my hands. Even though I wore gloves when I coloured it, I still, I've, I've still got a bit of colour on me or it sort of rubs off the, the fondant anyway. So you just have to be so careful, especially when using white or lighter colours, that um, you know white just picks up everything. Okay, so I've just got a little bit of black and I'm just going to roll it into a little ball and then flatten it on, um, on the eye. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm going to do little like antenna ear things coming out. I've got some, here's my little bag for my Lego pieces. I'm going to do little red ones. So I've also got here some wire. So um, I'm going to grab one piece and I'll grab my scissors. Okay, so I've cut my florist wire and I've rolled out my balls and then I've flattened them. I've made two little holes at the top here. Um, and just sort of insert them and let them dry. It'll be easier to sort of leave them once they're to put them in once they're hard. So we'll leave them. I 
we'll leave them like that and finish that when we're dry. So that's the first one, easy.